Ever since the first Doctor Strange came out, it's been a long road to get to Doctor Strange 2, aka Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Multiple setbacks, delays, actors not being able to commit, and various other things set the film back on top of a little thing you might have heard of called a pandemic. We knew that Doctor Strange recently went back for two months worth of reshoots. Now an actor in the film says that a majority of the film was reshot during those reshoots. So this is coming at us from Bruce Campbell, who of course you guys probably know as somebody who's worked with Sam Raimi for a very long time. And again, Bruce Campbell is going to be in this film. So recently, he was having a discussion slash conversation with the Armed Forces Entertainment, and he was asked about his experience working on the film, and of course, you know, um, what else he can say. And he said, and I quote, The deal with Doctor Strange is interesting. A majority of the film was reshot extensively, so I have no idea what's in there and what isn't. End quote. Now again, when they officially said that they were going back for reshoots, we then found out it was six to eight weeks of reshoots. That's literally as long as entire film shoots. So again, that is one thing to really consider and I think many people find troubling, especially at the same time that you had those interviews where Benedict Cumberbatch is saying, I'm not even sure if this is a Doctor Strange film. Does my character even have an arc in this film? I don't know. Now it kind of starts to make a little bit more sense. And it kind of makes sense in regards to why the marketing for this film is kind of kept under wraps in terms of what they showed us before this latest trailer. Because there was very little. And again, we had some leaks of what could be happening very early on that seems like at one point or another, they massively just shifted direction in terms of whether these sequences would even be kept in the final thing or would be completely scrapped. So again, there's a lot more evidence here that this is all true, that there was huge parts, entire sequences, major parts that were entirely reshot or all new that were never intended to be in the original cut of the film. Now, who knows what these are? One could be cynical and say after they saw what happened with Spider-Man and how much money it made with all the cameos, they're like, hey guys, six to eight weeks of reshoots, add in every single cameo you think you can. This is a gold mine. We will make billions. Maybe that's the case. Maybe there was structurally something so off about the film and so wrong that they were like, boy, this really doesn't work. We we need to like shift and pivot everything away from this direction. Again, we know that they were heavily affected with Spider-Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange swapping places. So we already know that they had to changed the entire third act of this film as it was originally a prequel to No Way Home. So it'll be interesting to see if we learn anything more. But to me, this is a little cause for concern. I don't know about you guys. That's cutting it real close and really worrisome if you have to reshoot so much and you're literally supposed to be in the final stage of this film being put together. That's it's a little concerning. Might make the film ultimately look cheap if they don't have enough time to finish those special effects. <laughs> 